Marijuana, 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 marijuana. <laughs> Let's talk about sex, drugs, and rock and roll, baby. Well, no, that's just clickbait. I'm not gonna talk about rock and roll here. I'm just gonna talk about sex and drugs, or rather, drugs and their effect on sex, or uh, one drug and its effect on sex. Marijuana. Hey everyone, welcome back to Explaining Humans. I'm very happy to see you here. Well, I, I obviously don't see you. I am at the moment just talking to a lens that could actually use some cleaning. But of course I see your views and comments and subscriptions afterwards and I can assure you that I make a leap in the air for every single one of them. I mean, you don't know me that well yet, but if you stick around you will get to know that I'm actually this loud and obnoxious in real life and I'm obviously that way and even more when happy. So please make me happy by watching, sharing, subscribing, commenting, belling, whatevering this video. It means a lot. Stop being so needy, Margarita. Let's get to it. The effect of cannabis on our sex lives. Well, the sex lives of users, that is. The beautiful thing about science is that you can come up with any kind of question and just make a science project out of it. So I have no idea how the first person decided to see what effect pot has on the person's sex, but I'm pretty sure that it was him being high and having hella good sex and then deciding to see if these two were somehow related. Not him and the sex partner, we're not a Game of Thrones people. I'm talking about sex and pot, obviously. So in the meantime, there are so many papers about this topic because this wouldn't be science if not other nerds decided to duplicate and compare and contrast. Ah, oh, I love science so much! So let's get the story straight from the beginning. Cannabis is a plant that many of us humans like to smoke or eat. Thank goodness you can find anything on the internet today because I have only smoked like thrice. Um, Hi, Dad! <laughs> and I am seriously clueless on the matter of any drugs, actually, except maybe alcohol. But either way, cannabis is a beautiful plant that has some psychoactive components. These affect us in various magical ways. Yes, I am a scientist and I could explain it better, but who actually cares about... I mean, if you do actually care, then comment below and I will make a video on the entire process of the plant and its exact journey and effects when consumed, okay? But for now, it's magic. And these... Um, psychoactive compounds are thought to be good for treating several severe illnesses by, for example, reducing nausea and vomiting during chemotherapy, improving appetite in HIV patients, and relieving some people from chronic pain and spasms. But being ill does, hopefully, not make you not have a sex drive. All these people who get it prescribed would love to know what the effect of their medication is on them getting it on. <laughs> so this topic is not at all about some high guy or gal trying to recreate a hot as f night. But why should cannabis somehow improve sex? Although it remains unclear, there has been a study group in Germany which discovered that an orgasm releases the body's own cannabis-like compounds. They're called endocannabinoids and are associated with pleasure. But then how could you not be improving sex by smoking weed? Well, I have watched so many people being high and I think you will agree with me that the state of utter relaxed boredom and being even thicker than in real life might affect the ability to be active enough and to feel everything that is happening. I don't have any data on that, I'm just thinking of friends who just lay there for hours laughing at a painting of a blue dot. Like, whatever. Studies have in general determined sex to be better after consuming. In this one paper, Kansas City researchers interviewed uh, 97 adult users and two-thirds said that it increased emotional closeness, sexual pleasure, and satisfaction, whereas one-third said that it had no effect on their lovemaking or even reduced pleasure. Researchers from the University of British Columbia had only 5% of their subjects say that it spoiled sex completely, while 41 admitted to advantages and disadvantages of the experience, and 39 said that it was always enhancing the libido. Sensitivity to touch, possibility of coming, and so on. St. Louis University investigators asked 127 women, and compared with those who abstained from marijuana or used it infrequently, those who regularly used the drug shortly before sex were twice as likely to report deeply satisfying orgasms. In the largest study, I could 
find Stanford researchers tracked over 51,000 adult cannabis users for 14 years. Uh, some reported enhancement, others impairment, but overall the drug was mildly libido boosting, which is great news for the people it helps. How many of you have already done a private experiment? Let me know. Well, it might be too much information. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, sure, people are having fun, or at least they say so in the surveys, but what happens physiologically? The combined use of marijuana more than once per week and other drugs reduce the sperm concentration by 52% and total sperm sperm count by 55%. Marijuana smokers had higher levels of testosterone, which also is associated with the sex drive of these men, which means they would want and have more sex, but with poor semen quality. This is absolutely fine if you're not trying to get the other pregnant, though. Daily cannabis use was associated with reporting a diagnosis of a sexually transmittable infection in women, but not in men. But this could also be due to this, well, not very attentive state you are in when you're on drugs and, and forgetting about condoms, maybe? Please, people always use condoms! Like, always! If somebody wakes you up in the middle of the night and asks you what you should always remember, it has to be condoms, not your name, not your mom's birthday, condoms! Use them! Also, they showed that there are difficulties in men's ability to orgasm as desired. They were either not coming at all, or coming too fast, or too slow. Can you say that? Or is it too, too late? Um, this is absolutely fine if you're not trying to... no. This is not fine. It's shit if somebody cannot come because of that. But again, this is not for weekly or less users. This study investigated daily users. Like, Use less if you have problems like that. Talking is a true clueless person in addictive behavior. Conclusion. Cannabis might be enhancing sexual pleasure and make sex great. Ugh. Just for that reference now, I can never try it. Ah! But it has some drawbacks as well. I think it's all about dosage, as in everything, and individual preferences, of course. So after subscribing, sharing, and so on, go on to banging after bonging, and the ooh, that was bad. Okay. <laughs> Bye.